Good morning all. I welcome you to this short reflection in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. In general talking, when we used to talk earlier before what situation we are in now, people used to say, wish I had a little time of work and I could spend some time on certain projects. Wish I had a time to work from home. Children used to say, wish we had a little bit longer vacation to spend our time and play around. Looking at the circumstances, I think our wishes have come to true sense and God has fulfilled our wishes by saying, okay, have it. But now when we have it, we are facing different circumstances, especially there is a fear within ourselves. What is all this going to be in few months time? We have a fear. We are afraid about the future. We are afraid about the safety of our kids, safety of ourselves, safety of our families. Fear is something which is traveling in the hearts of many people. And people are afraid of it. When we talk about fear, there are different personalities who were also afraid of certain fear. If you take Alfred Hitchcock, he had a fear of police. Caesar Augustus, mighty and a powerful emperor, was afraid of darkness. There is a fear. What will happen to me and my future? Future of my family. And some are also fearful of making commitment to God because they are afraid. It is all based on life experiences. In circumstances like this, it reminds us of a favorite and a famous Psalm, which is Psalms 23. And I am going to read verses one to four, which will surely help us to reflect on it. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in one. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Fear is basically about losing our control on things which is not in our hand. We are not able to get the desired result what we want. Fear can cripple our emotions, spiritual life, and it can affect every arena of our life. But Bible tells us not to be afraid in dark times. And this is what I would like to bring to your notice as we are traveling through these difficult times. We shouldn't be afraid of because God is with us. The shepherd is with us. And that's why I would like to focus on verse 4, which is, even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. That's why, praise be to the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. As it says in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3 and 4, God is a Father who is full of mercy and all comfort. He comforts us every time we have trouble. 
So when others having trouble, we cannot comfort them with the same comfort God gives us. We can tell them and we can comfort them. The second thing which I would like to bring to your notice is to be aware of God's presence. Even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, the good shepherd is with us in every circumstances. He cares for us and his promises are true. As a human being, I won't be able to fulfill all the promises I make, but God is in control and he is going to fulfill all the promises he makes. And that's why he says that I will be with you. And that's why he said, for you are with me. That is what Samis is trying to say, that he is with us in these circumstances. And the last point which I would like to bring to you, be assured of Lord's protection. Because it says, even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me and your rod and your staff comfort me. Walking through the valley of shadow of death requires courage and guidance of God. It requires faith. Faith is the opposite of fear. David said he will fear no evil because God was with him. That he will be comforted by the rod and the staff of Good Shepherd. This means he can safely help us walk through without any scar. The rod and the staff represents the Holy Spirit whom God has given to comfort his children in times like this. The Holy Spirit is our comforter and our guide. If God is with us, then there is no reason to fear. He says in Hebrews 13 verse 5, I will never leave you or I will never forsake you. I will be with you. His promises to be with us when we pass through the waters and the rivers and the fire. His promises are with us. The valley of shadow of death is no match for the shadow of the Almighty God. God bless us all and be with us all in every circumstances and grant his grace and mercy to each one of us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.